Hey guys, so today I'm going to Dior. They messaged me and they were like, oh, we have a sale on. There's some cute things on sale that you might like. And the Dior team are just honestly amazing. So amazing. So I wanna go check out the sale, see if there's any cute pieces that I can pick up. There is something I have my eye on. Um, hopefully it's still there, but we'll see what happens. I definitely wanna get a few pairs of sunglasses. I love Dior sunglasses, I think they're amazing. I also need to get my Van Cleef bracelet adjusted and Elise's. So let's head to the mall. I got these, you guys know I live in these black ones so I wanna get the nude as well. But here we have the selection of ready to wear, which is on sale and the sunglasses and my sister and yeah. <laughs> All right. Not a fan of these, never was, never will be, but you know, each to their own. I love Dior knitwear. I wish the Jade Dior stuff was on sale, but obviously not. But I also picked up these, they're so cute. Should I get the these? I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't really expect to spend money when I came in today. I just wanted to see what was on sale. Um, ended up uh, Such like. A Liking a few things, <laughs> unexpected things. Um, that jacket, mainly. Wow. Um, I told you it would be so cute. She's like, I know I'm gonna like Big Bird, but I think it looks so cute. I look like Big Bird, but no, it's still it's such so a vibe. Cute. Oh God, what's he bringing? Oh my, oh my God. God. I don't have it Just anywhere. It's so pretty. <laughs> but they brought out a whole selection of the Croc saddle bags. I am dying. I've never wanted the the medium size. I was gonna say the big one, but. This is kind of really growing on me. Like, it's so me. Just a really big edgy bag with a boring outfit. Okay, so we just spent an hour at Dior. It was like longer than an hour. Wasn't the most magical shopping experience you've ever had in a luxury store? I'm so impressed. <laughs> like, wow. Dior stuff, amazing. I could just do amazing. Here. Yeah, so they gave us macaroons and like, Elise was too shy to eat them. <laughs> I uh, know, I just, I didn't want to like, we were leaving, so I didn't want to grab like three or more cars. So I just took like one, and I was like, oh my god, they're so good. So we came back so to lingerie <laughs> to have some macaroons. Um, wow, can't stop thinking about those bags they showed me. Okay guys, I came to Cartier to pick up a little something for me. Um, and I want to do a giveaway. I'm thinking of doing the Diamond Leger bracelets because I really love mine. It's super simple and like... It's like barely there. Or the charity bracelets. Oh my God, sparkles. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys would rather have. I might do like two or three giveaways. Let's see how I, let's see how generous I feel. Okay, so I just got home, picked up a little something from Cartier and I picked up a little bits and bobs from Sephora and here is my dual package. Today we're doing another luxury haul. Yeah, I, are these getting boring yet? Personally, I'm enjoying them, but I'm also hating them because I love shopping and wearing my things instantly. And sometimes I feel like I can't do that because I have to schedule my uploads and film. Private client sales are so much fun. You get invited into the VIP suites. You choose your timings, which you want to go in. Beforehand, they'll send you images of what they have just so you know you're not wasting your time to go there. There were a few things I had my eye on. Not a lot, to be honest, but there was one thing in particular which I just, I've always really loved. I just never really thought of myself buying or even trying on until the store manager who usually helps me out was like, you have to try this on. So, yeah, take your time. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I really do love my Dior, what are they called? The Dior D-Connect sneakers. I have them in black, I absolutely love them. But because I've been wearing them so often, I realized that it was time to buy another color. If you guys are new here, you probably don't know this, but if I love something, I will buy it in every color that I love of it that's available. Or custom order it. Personally, I did not love the Dior D Connects when they came out. I thought they were horrific. But then I tried them on and I was like, you know what? I really need a pair of like all black trainers, which are not the Balenciagas, speed runners, or chunky trainers. I want a pair of like cute chic trainers. And I feel like Dior does that. They do cute chic. Sporty cute chic. I just, I would not wear Balenciaga shoes anymore. A few days ago, I actually decided to get the nude Dior D-Connect 
sneakers. I love them. I feel like they go in my outfit today. I've actually been incorporating a lot more cream, ivory, like blush tones into my wardrobe recently. And I feel like whereas the black is super versatile, it goes with literally everything. I felt like I really needed a pair of nude sneakers. And I hadn't found a pair which I really loved until I saw these. And honestly, they're not super heavy. They kind of remind me of like a collaboration that Rick Owens did back in the day. I think it was with Adidas. I might have to get the other colors. I'm kind of feeling the sage green that they have going on. It's kind of cute. Is it gray or is it green? I really don't know because this is the thing with dual lighting. I go into the shop thinking it's gray, then I come out. No, I go into the shop thinking it's green, then I come out and it's gray. Did you guys watch that video? I absolutely love these. Can't wait to wear them. In fact, I've been dying to wear them. I just haven't unbox them and i wanted to unbox them before i wore them the next two little items sunglasses i love a good pair of sunglasses but i hate absolutely despise parting money a lot of money on sunglasses especially nice sunglasses because i'm that person that loses sunglasses i lose sunglasses i scratch them i don't take care of them and it is awful but it's it's the truth i'm not very good with them this particular piece was the first thing on my wish list when they sent me what was available and i absolutely love these i've been looking for a pair of sunglasses like this for the longest time and these i think are my favorites so they are a pink hue with i believe yellow gold if not rose i feel like they are such a vibe there is such a me vibe they're the most useless sunglasses because i feel like they're just they're not blocking out sun they are giving everything a really nice sepia pink tint, but I can't stare at people because <laughs> they'll see. When you're in a restaurant, like an outdoor restaurant, obviously I wouldn't be wearing sunglasses indoors and you see like a hot girl and you're like, wow. You can't do that with these sunglasses because obviously you're eyeballing them very openly. This is a funny story. They actually did not know that they had these sunglasses. They checked the men's wear, they checked the women's wear, but they managed to find these for me. And they are pretty similar to the previous pair that I just got, but... They are the ultra matte black aviators. I feel like everyone needs a pair of black aviator sunglasses. This is great. I love these sunglasses. They're like, don't talk to me. Any sunglasses that give me that vibe, I absolutely love. This is a beautiful piece, which I did not ever think I would be able to wear or own. And it is all thanks to the staff at Dior who convinced me to try it on and see for myself. He first initially brought it over and I was like, you must be joking, right? You do realize I'm like this big and this is like, he was like, trust me, try it on. I'm gonna style you in it and you're gonna see. And I was like, fine, let's switch to the vlog. So I was on the fence about this, but once I tried it on, I was like, wow. There's a massive pocket, guys. I can hide my, um, stuff honestly wow when i saw this i was like this is a bit of me i look like big bird if big bird was black i can't wait to wear this this is so cute and the best part was it was last piece and it was 50 percent off how are you gonna say no to that it did come in white too but the white was sold out but this is just like wow like this is like camouflage with like these shaggy bits coming off I thought it would look horrific and then I tried it on and I was like, I'm actually really loving this. I'm so glad they convinced me to try it on and wear it because if I didn't, I'd be so sad right now. And a few days ago, I went into Louis Vuitton because they told me they received new ready to wear pieces and I wanted to check out the collection. I checked it out. They didn't really have anything that I had my eye on. I'm not crazy about the new collection, but they did have one special little piece. which um, I had to pick up. And believe it or not, but this is not for me. This is actually a gift that I bought for. So I decided I would finally cave and get Louis a dog bag because I need him to sit in my car, but not on my lap. And this is so cute. This comes down, it's got a little window. Oh, we can close it. And this is the 50, he's a mini Maltese, but he's quite big and there's so much space in here he's gonna absolutely love it i'll just show you guys it's actually massive this is bigger than my key pool, which is crazy louis loves louis vuitton and he is just the most special little boy ever honestly my dog is my whole life i want to shower him with love and 
gifts and flowers and whatever I can shower him with because I just love him so much. I've never loved anything as much as I love my dog and it's just so hard for me to explain but Louis really helped me get through some rough times in my life and he's always there for me. Like he is the one constant in my life which just gives me unconditional love and happiness and joy and I just want to give back to him. I don't know if you guys noticed but this actually has a security <laughs> Still on. I did not steal it though. So I messaged my essay as soon as I got home and I was like, babes, I left the tag on. It was weird. I was walking out the shop and they only had one entrance open. So I was leaving and I was like, there's beeping. Like, are you sure it's on me? She goes, I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to have to go back in and actually get this taken off. I do think I could probably like snip it off, but if it was that easy, then they wouldn't have these. The flap basically comes down. The inside, I got his initials hot stamped as well. So we have LM on the bag. Fortunately, we have the same initials. I did want to try get Louis. They do maximum of four letters and Louis is five. It's kind of like a duffel, but the straps are a lot bigger. This can actually go over your shoulder as well as in your hand and the crook of your arm. It is quite light itself. So when you put your dog in, it does become quite heavy, but fine. I mean, it is a dog bag after all. The inside is like, it's not removable, but it's like cleanable. It's got this fabric, which you can just wipe down. Perfect. I'm so glad it's not leather because imagine the mess. We have coated fabric, which is obviously this leather. Cowhide leather trim, this bit, which is gonna develop a nice honey patina and man-made lining. So a synthetic kind of lining. That's great. And it also comes with a lock and key, but I don't really think I'm gonna be using that because don't think I'm gonna lock him in there. I did actually get this for car journeys mainly. I take him out quite often and the thing is, Louis does not like to sit in the seat. I did get him a seat belt thing and he just, he doesn't like it. So I came in looking for this one and they have it. Honestly, I wasn't a huge fan when they released it. I thought it looked awful, but it's really grown on me recently. It's cute and it's only like 1,600 dirhams less than the small size which is cute too but i feel like everyone has that and because i've already got like three dovils i don't feel like i need a book tote really although they are great but this is like really growing on me i feel like this is a cute bag you can just take to like the cinema just for a day around the mall when you don't want to carry too much i love the dual packaging it just smells so good So here we have my little tiny Christian Dior mini book tote. This isn't the small size. This is, I believe it's called the mini book tote. The small book tote is like the newest, smaller size that they released of the regular size book tote. Is that small? Yeah, I think it's small. If you're like below 5'4", it's what the regular book tote looks like on like people about 5'4". We're talking about this little cutie. Here she is. She is so cute and she will be released in other colors. Initially, I was not the biggest fan. I didn't really like it, but I realized it's actually such a vibe. Like it's so small and like it's flat. It's really flat. It's like completely, well, not completely pointless, but like, I just want to wear this everywhere. And to be honest, I'm not someone that carries a lot. There isn't actually any pockets on the inside. So it's not the most practical bag, but obviously if you're one of those people that like just live for like inserts. I think I'm gonna get, <laughs> I was about to say I think I'm gonna get an insert for this, but let's be honest, I'm really not gonna need an insert. Actually, I could potentially need like a mini dust bag, like a small dust bag to just keep in here because I know the kind of person I am, I'll be like flinging this around, my sh** will be falling out, it's just not, it's not the most ideal thing. So it really depends where I plan on wearing this, but yeah, so this is what she looks like close up. I wonder if I can get my name put on it. I'll ask. I feel like the best thing about the book totes is the personalization. And even like with the Dior like straps, like the personalization, I love personalized stuff. Like exclusive, personal, my two favorite words, best-selling technique. If you are a sales assistant out there watching me, 
that's my wee spot. Um, I did not come in expecting to buy anything else other than that little tiny bag, but they did say the sale was the last day today and if I come tomorrow, it's gonna be gone. I always ask them to show me whatever they think would suit me and they do bring out some of the best pieces. They showed me three things today, one of which, which I did not think I would love. I honestly was not even gonna try it on because I was like, I have nowhere to wear this. But I tried it on and I was like, you know what? I'll wear this to the supermarket. It's so nice, like it's stunning. And at 50% off, who is saying no to Dior ready to wear? Like, honestly, this dress, I would wear it to like, anywhere, I'll make an excuse to wear it. Like, invite me out, I'll be, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, stunning, can't wait to show you guys. I might need to get it altered because it's a little tiny bit big. I tried on this beautiful, beautiful piece. Let me just tell you guys, I have absolutely no idea where I plan on wearing this. I've realized that actually, you know what? I always have somewhere to go. I just never have anything to wear. You weren't expecting that, were you? This. <laughs> This is a stunning dress. Wow, it smells, oh my God, it smells incredible. I think it's Georgia, like almost like a Georgette-y kind of fabric, like printed Georgia, which is beautiful. It's got an under layer. This is the top basically. It's just such a beautiful piece. And I didn't want to say no to it. I was like, you know what? I have nowhere to go. Someone get married and invite me so I can show up in this. I don't think I'm gonna be getting this dress cut in terms of length. It is long, obviously, because I'm small, but I plan on wearing like the chunkiest, highest gold heels. Like I've seen a really cute pair of, I believe the Aqua Zura that I really wanna pick up and I'm gonna wear it with this dress. Look at all of this, wow. I think I might need to get it taken in just slightly, but also at the same time, I don't know if I want to because I feel like I'm gonna gain weight and I don't wanna not be able to fit into this dress in a few years to come once I've had kids. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's lipo for that. I just got a package today, which I wanna show you guys because it doesn't really blend in with the other Chanel stuff that I got. I am gonna be doing a Chanel um, sale haul soon. I did attend the two day sale event. <laughs> Well, it wasn't two days, I made it two days. I got invited to the Dubai Mall sale first and then the Mall of Emirates sale the next day and did a tiny bit of damage. This is probably one of my favorite um, outerwear pieces to wear when I'm in London. It's not the perfect time to wear it right now, but when I'm in London, this is my go-to. I've spoken about this brand on my um, Instagram before, so if you guys follow me there, you'll know. <gasps> Oh, wow. So this is a la, a la Nui, a la Nui. And it is cashmere. I decided to get this green and gray because I just bought a beautiful pair of like gray leggings. And I also have a green bag, which I'm dying to show you guys. This literally just goes so well with that bag. And I thought that this would be the perfect piece to wear. It's basically got a wraparound belt and you just throw this on. I picked up size extra small. Absolutely love this. This is such a stunning piece. Like, actually, I'm gonna put it on now. Wow. With like a pair of like cashmere joggers, a pair of nice Laura Pianas. <laughs> I just want these in every color, but I'm not gonna lie, they aren't, they aren't cheap. She has pockets. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my little Dior haul. I will see you guys in my next video. I will be doing a Cartier giveaway very soon. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be back very soon with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching.